Hello everyone, welcome back to Nia Villa channel. Well, a lot of people asked me to make an aerospace quid. So in this video, I will give you one. First, you need to choose whether you will become a manufacturing or retail or hybrid or become a aerospace research producer because every business model has a different quid. A quid for aerospace producer. You must decide what do you want to make, whether there are whether they are aerospace and products or aerospace parts. If you want to make aerospace and products, you must choose between goods with high profit or goods with big market potential. And this is also for aerospace parts. After that, you must calculate which inputs cost a lot and whether it is better to make them yourself and just outsource them. Which is the more profitable between aerospace parts and aerospace and products? <laughs> okay, in my opinion, the most profitable ones are aerospace and products. But it depends on several factors like your setup map, strategies, suppliers, executive, production bonus, product quality, and more. So sometimes aerospace parts can be very profitable than the end products. But generally, the most profitable is aerospace and products. Now a quid for aerospace retail. As we know, the sales office is a unique retail building, which is different from other retail buildings in other industries. Can upgrading a sales office decrease the search time? Well, as I've said before, a sales office is a unique retail building and every sales office level represents one order. So if your sales office level are five, it means you can get five orders. And if your sales office level are 20, it means you can get 20 orders. The search time will take 47 hours for all levels of sales office. So it doesn't increase or decrease the search time. When should you build your first sales office? Well, in my opinion, you can build your first sales office when you have enough capital to be able to fill orders with 3 or 4 PFR before starting a sales office. It would be around $4 million and maybe more. Are all orders profitable? Unfortunately, no. There are a lot of low bonus or low volume orders which are unprofitable. The ratio of unprofitable orders is higher in recession than in boom. If orders have a higher loss than the source cost, it is better to reject the order. In all other cases, we just have to take the loss and move on. Think of the search cost as a sunk cost. Can you share some strategies used by sales office specialists to maximize profit? Okay, I can share some strategies and I have three. The first one is quality matching. High quality is not the best quality for many orders. I will share the quality matching tips. So for 
1% till 1.7%. Quality bonus, you should use end products with low quality. The quality range is around quality 0 till quantity 3. And for 1.7% till 2.3% quality bonus, you should use end product with mid quality. It means uh, quality 4 until quality 6. And for quality bonus with 2.3% till 3%, you should use end products with high quality. That's around quality 7 and higher. And the second strategy is recheck. You need to be brave be pulled and recheck an economical order and I mean when the losses are more than the search cost so you must recheck that orders the last strategy is search cost you can decrease the search cost by using good COO and CMO and if you lost a COO with a high poaching amount, there is a high probability it was someone with a lot of SO levels. A quit for aerospace hybrid. Okay, I don't say much for this because you can copy aerospace producer quit and aerospace retail quit because it is combination of both of them and since this model is a combination of producer and detail of course there are a lot of setup map combinations but if you look at my setup map it's kind of the map that fulfills my own needs so i can produce all aerospace and products so i can to satellite, jumbo jet, luxury jet, single engine plane, and BFR inputs, suborbital rocket inputs. So, yeah, I can produce all of them. You don't have a vertical integration facility. Why say you can produce all aerospace and products? Well, thank you. You have a good analysis. Well, honestly, I have a friend vertical integration facility to make my own suborbital rocket and PFR. But sometimes I outsource them with higher quality. I don't build a vertical integration facility because that is not profitable with my current setup map combination except if I am outsourcing all inputs needed. How much is your setup daily profit? Okay, well my setup map is a bit different because I manage 10 sales office orders every 12 hours but I can say 1 million dollars is the minimum net profit and five million dollars is the maximum net profit but sometimes it can be more than that so the profit i got generally depends on the sales office order and how many pfr orders i got for the last aerospace resource producer i have a little quit uh for for aerospace resource producers, you should upgrade your launch pad as high as possible. But I can say the minimum level is 5 for you if you want to get a good profit from it. Okay, someone asking me, which rocket you should use to get aerospace resource? 
Okay, well, I highly recommend you to use suborbital rocket, and the reason is because every rocket you use on launch pad have a chance to explode even you are using rocket with quality 4 or higher. So if you use suborbital rocket and explode, you just lost 100,000 or more. But now imagine if you are using PFR and then it exploded, boom, you will lose $800,000 and maybe more. Yeah, it's a huge loss. And also you can read two articles, which is article 69 about on spats and worker costs and article 130 about our space research and launching pads it will be very useful for you who interested on this business and i will put the link on the description so that's all for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to new aquila channel so i can make more videos thank you